These are the best highlights from the matchup between Team Liquid and Fnatic during the quarterfinals of the 2024 Esports World Cup. Angle he was looking for, but trying to get things started off early. We mentioned the amount of burst damage that comes out from both of these sides as once again looking to just get into the action here. But That's... not looking good for them. That's brutal. The fact that June has missed both those hooks in a row gives Team Liquid so much extra pressure in this lane, not just because you're trading, but you also have to remember that Team Liquid is... Uh, uh, flash? Okay, they're just trying to kill Yon here, and it might just work out, but now one last auto on a June in his first blood to the Lucian of all players, as now Noah's alone. He's trying to get the kill on a core JJ. He's not even going to be able to kill the Nami. He can't even get the Nami. Okay, he hits level two, and now one last auto might do it. He does proc his barrier, <laughs> but now he has to flash away. And I mean, help them get across the line and get a massive lead oh, in no. this bottom lane. And now Umpty's here. Nobody's got flash. Nobody. And they think they're safe. They think they're the ones hiding as now flash comes in from Umpty. And June is almost 100% dead as the damage is coming in. Aftershock not going to save him. And Noah in a bit of trouble himself takes a huge chunk of damage. And Umpty, he just full cleared and went bot. I mean, it's pretty elementary as now Impact in a bit of trouble, but he will just flash away from that one. As now getting a little bit close to the sun, Razor trying to punish this one, gets a thumbs up from Impact as nothing is going right for Fnatic. And just a complete domination top to bottom. Only six minutes, not even six minutes in, as they're already going for Razor. Yeah, Razor gonna get caught here. The wall from the Talia is excellent. And now they don't quite have the damage though, as finally they do take him down. Just looking a little bit iffy there. As APA and Umpty were taking a huge amount of AoE damage from the way, but it's still going to be good for the side of Team Liquid. They get the pick onto the Resort. You know, tried to make something happen on top side. Top side, all he gets is a thumbs up from Impact. Mm -hmm. And now we got to dive on bot side. They know that Resort is on the top side of the map, and Noah is just in a lot of trouble. Cordy Day, now he will be treated back, and now we get a second kill over to the side of Fnatic. And through all of that, it does look like Yun should at least be able to take down the plate, and they deny even more CS away from Noah. Or on the other side, you have a Huey, you have a Corky. All these characters are well known for scaling super hard into the game. And Fnatic trying to put a couple of them and get a little bit more gold in their pockets. Well, they're trying to go for Core here, but he's just going to flash away. Noah does pick up the kill, and now Umpty in a little bit of a rough spot. Resort will go down to Yun, and now we got the Talia coming on in. Oh. Noah, he needs the kill, but he's not going to get it as Umpty will survive as APA again is there in the nick of time. Overextended Umpty just tanky enough when all is said and done to give APA the time to get there. Yeah, now we got some plays oh, on the goodbye. top side core in a pretty rough spot. Uh, I really don't know what he was doing there, but maybe trying to get some vision. It does backfire and he will be taken down. So small little victory there. It feels like fish are supposed to be in the river, right? That's exactly what their native habitat is. Mm -hmm. huh. Away. Well, what? Okay, that's just a shutdown from Noah over Yun. And I have no idea how that is even possible, but it did happen. It did happen. I cannot wait to see the replay on what happened there because that is very surprising. He still has a barrier up, and now it's a lot of gold that's gone right back on over towards Fnatic, potentially getting a bit too complacent. Well, trying to take a trade here is Oscar and in. No flash available for impact. He is going to throw down the equalizer. That is going to prevent Resort from getting in as now. Will Proc BL does get in, but that shield oh. is enough to keep him alive. Just barely impact will serve. Is going the way of Team Liquid. Fnatic do not have any chance to, to walk over there and get anything going. So instead, Resort is just going to show himself Ooh. up on the top side alongside of June looking for APA. That's a very nice hook. And now the ult comes in. That is a very dead Talia eventually. And that's another shutdown going into the hands of Fnatic. Yeah, it's going over towards tier one just yet. But you see Yon is trying to put on uh, that pressure. Can be difficult into the way, but if you don't have jungle priority, maybe, yeah, they're just gonna poke him down. And now we got a wall as well, just to push him out of the lane and secure this mid tier one. This will be a big victory and the lead built upon here for Team Liquid. First turret of the game goes down in about 15 minutes. Now looking for Noah. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. Uh, very, very dead this time as impacts on the rumble will take him down. Now Oscar and this getting some free time with the stop turret. But it's just more time where Noah's just doesn't really get to play. And now Razor coming around. Umpty's right around the corner. 
Yeah, well, in the 1v1 should be fine, but now we got TPs coming in, we got June coming in as well, and Umpty, they're just gonna leave him for dead. Not able to help him here, as even Impact might be in a little bit of trouble. The Orin getting to work on him. June with the flash, all just to make 100% sure, and with Impact on no flash, it will be eventually the kill going over to Oscar Rinnan. So nice little turnaround there on the bottom side, going to Fnatic. Tier one, and nearly does take out APA, and trying to snipe him down again. But we do have Yon and Cortez nearby, so is June. Everybody is trying to just yeah. magnetize towards the action. Razork is there as well. Team Liquid might be fighting off more than they can chew. Yeah, June is going to be in an interesting spot, but like you mentioned, just trying to bait for this one. Core getting pretty low as he will flash the rocket, and now we do have Resorc and a massive equalizer going to hit everybody. Even the humanoid has to back way in. The Whoa. Divide does come through. Rather, the seismic shove will pick up Noah, just the cherry on top. Great stuff coming out from Team Liquid. Finally finding one of those decisive fights that will get them a whole lot. They find multiple. Liquid are taking big strides to increase that early lead that they've had for a very long time, but kind of staggered, stagnated on it for a while as that knockup is going to miss. Impact still in a lot of trouble here as Humanoid putting in that damage will knock the ult. And now a double knockup comes in here in the 2v2. You see Jun though is going to be kited down. Some sniping, some help from Humanoid, but a lot of damage from Resorc as well. They're trying to get Yun, but he is going to dash away from this one. As now Umpty looking again at the action, that wall is going to absolutely make quick work of him. And they also get the flash out of Oscar, who will get out of here. And came up the entire map worth of CS. So it makes a lot of sense that he's on top. But it is worth noting that at this point in the game, the goal leads start to lie because we're starting to see the ornaments come through. Now, I'm a little bit disappointed because uh, they lost all their cool names, but Umpty just goes right on it. He's going back in, and he is very tanky here on the Sintalis. Now an ult onto Yun, just trying to zone him away, but Umpty's getting a lot of value Whoa. in himself as eventually he goes down, but now the culling comes out as Yun is eating damage from the Baron. He nearly dies to it. And actually, we'll have to get out of here. Impact oh. also going out, and a massive snipe comes out from Noah as another shutdown in that 1v1. And, and Yun doesn't even use his barrier. He says, no, I was going to start seeing it as a, a nice little play to get that uh, dredge line into the wall from June. But yeah, now we're going to have the fight breaking out once here again, as Impact does have TP if they want to come into this one. And there it is, straight into the fight as now. Humanoid. Trying to turn on the Humanoid. He just runs into the enemy team and immediately dies. Whoa. But it's Impact doing the exact same thing with his TP. As down, he's going to go. Cord JJ barely alive. It's only Yun. And yes, he is pretty fed, but I don't think he can go 1v4 here as Umpty trying to provide a front line. Oscar going Eddie? in by himself. Umpty now trying to really provide that front line. Down will go core, and Umpty is just a little bit too low. Young, desperate to try to 1v4, but it's not happening. That's now the Ornolt is coming from downtown. And unfortunately, it is too far away for him. But another good fight here for Fnatic to try to come back in this game. We're trying to remove this Corky early on. We were saying that if this was a scrim, we would not have even played it. But now, I mean, this is why you actually got to play some of those scrims so you can look for opportunities like this. Well, they're trying to go all in onto the Nautilus. This time, the uh, Equalizer will come down as the Orn ult is pretty good here from Oscar in him, but there's just no follow up as they would have had to force in through the choke. So finally. They've maintained this 2,000 gold lead for the last 20 minutes. It's been hovering somewhere between one and a half and two and a half, and now Impact getting caught. <laughs> yeah, he's just uh, immediately caught here. He tries to flash away as now Oscar in is going to be looking for the finisher, and he will get it as Resort actually gets the kill, and now Umpty just baited in. He's going to be taken down. A lot of damage is done by the culling, but it's now 3v5 for TL. As Fnatic, they get a couple of picks, they get the enemy jungler, and they will look to take the Baron. This is really big. The ornaments are really starting to make this gold lead completely lie, and two members going down for Team Liquid means there's no opportunity for them to actually contest for this Baron. Honestly, Valdez, this game feels as though it's been going for a lot longer than 27 minutes, right? That This is around the time where Team Liquid actually ended game one. And what Resort has been able to do on this Kha'Zix. I mean, he has found so many angles even from behind, and now that he's ahead, he's like, okay, now it's time to go on the hunt, and Jude oh. does an excellent job. And, uh, well, mm. right as I'm saying Resort's doing well, he just immediately dies. And now we get a huge equalizer over the top. 
We do see the Orn ultimate also going to try to peel for the team as we do see Toon going down, but now Yun taken Whoa. out. Upti going way too deep, but now APA is going to get the flank here, and maybe it's enough as APA will take out the Corky finally as Oscar in it alone, 1v2. And can he do much here? Will he take down Court JJ? It's looking pretty likely as he does go unstoppable, and there is the knockup. But oh. another one is the seismic shove. APA does deny the kill. Really good fight ultimately from Team Liquid to down an equalizer. But what if we had a Baron buff to neutralize that entirely? Yes, Team Liquid trade back, but at the same time, oh, Razark is going to be picking up another Infernal Dragon. It looks like the Infernal Soul, one dragon away here for Fnatic, and at least Team Liquid will trade some gold back by getting the top lane turret and the mid lane turret. But I would absolutely rather be in Fnatic's position as they go for another roll. Yeah, Yun is in a lot of trouble. He is going to flash away as the rest of the team is just going to blast cone out of there as well. Razark really wants to continue. Eventually. Yeah, eventually. But maybe then the rest of the team just takes you down. So. Does feel like Fnatic's Ooh. in a pretty good spot, although Rezark nearly does die. And now they're calling, and he has to flash away. Meanwhile, Impact. on the top side, Impact's in a lot of trouble, but the Equalizer is good. And now a fight potentially brewing here. As so oh, that's nice. a very nice seismic stuff to come out from the side of Team Liquid. But now Umpty in a lot of trouble. Does tank up a huge amount of the damage. And now Rezork is back into the fight. Does take down Core. And the AoE damage from the Hoy is huge. But now they go way too deep. And Humanoid and Noah barely surviving. Looks like they will get away just barely in this fight. And it's another even trade between these two teams. Fnatic and Team Liquid just going blow for blow every the mid lane. And Fnatic very low. It'd be very hard to do this, Baron. They're trying to corral them. And Team Liquid are doing a pretty good job of that. The Flash comes in, Impact in a bit of trouble, trying to get away from this one. Umpty, though, frontlining for Yun on the top side of this fight. And now Razork, they're going to spot him on the top side here as well. Mid lane still looking to push. The dredge line is going to miss as APA so just trying to tip away once again with his own Leandris. Impact looking to back away so he can get a teleport back into the fight. Team Liquid not having the vision necessary to continue chasing Fnatic around. They finally know that Fnatic is not, in fact, hitting the bear, and that means that it is Team Liquid's turn to do so, trying to make sure that nobody can teleport back in. Trying to get this fight going again, and June is in a ton of trouble. He just goes down, and that's going to be the end of that TL. They force Fnatic to try to answer the call on the Baron, but now they're just going to have to give it away. Team Liquid. Look at them. They had a huge lead, kind of threw it away. Fnatic were playing well. But being very skittish around this, taking their time, making sure that Razork does not have an easy opportunity to jump into the pit. And Razork, as we know, is not even going to go for a steal at all. But Team Liquid love the fact the fastest game by far we've had so far and also looking to potentially break the record for the longest game in the same series as now trying to frontline uh -oh. here umpty in a lot of trouble will crescent garden try to get away from this one but the knockup once again as oscar in and will assassinate him but now the knockup comes out and oscar's in a bit of trouble he has to get away the equalizer is huge you really? the front line is just melting here on the oh. side of fanatic everybody is super low health and a flash forward from yun is enough to take the double kill and now Noah's like desperately trying to hold on to this mid lane, but eventually he should go down as he's just poked away by Stones and maybe Team Liquid. They just end the game here. It took 37 minutes for Team Liquid to remember how much of a lead they had early on in this game. It is only Razor left to try and defend Fnatic's life in this tournament. He needs to do a miracle play right now if they want to keep on their key. I just don't think he's got enough. You know, maybe if this was Ziggs or Anivia or something, but Kha'Zix not, look not looking good for him as Team Liquid took them quite a while in game number two, but it will be the 2-0 victory to take the series up against Fnatic and win and move on here in the EWC. And Team Liquid... These were some of the best highlights from the 2024 Esports World Cup quarterfinals matchup between Team Liquid and Fnatic. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.